Hey guys, welcome back in the Cool IT Help. This is a little lengthy video uh, for uh, the FFmpeg series. That here we're going to add the subtitle in a movie. So first you need a movie file so you can add the subtitle. So here's our objective. What we going to do? You can see that I have made a list of the required items that we have to do before running the command. So required items, the four required items. We need a video file of any file format. You can choose at your own. So I have taken the wildlife.wmv file. So you can see that it's a default available in the Windows 7 in the videos folder. Okay, now close it. Now come to the task list and we have file format. And we need a phone.conf file before running this command. This is a very important. If you will not have this file, you can download from the link that I have given in the description box. Also, we have to create a fonts folder. Okay, and now paste it inside it as I have given okay I have pasted inside the phones folder let me show you what is inside okay now just uh, open the notepad and drag and drop you can see that there's some configuration information is uh, written inside uh, related to the fonts okay because uh, we're going to write the subtitle over the video that's why we need it so you guys can download it and do that I have done you can download from the link that I have given in the description box and the third point is you need a subtitle.srt file so that we need to create okay this is srt this is a subtitle file you can write whatever you want for the video as a subtitle so we will prepare it by using the text editor i will show you how you can prepare .srt file okay guys uh, now let me open this and show you what is inside srt file the syntax is very simple anyone can write the srt file it's a very easy and this is the format of the srt file let me sh explain you about this the first one that the first subtitle that will appear so you have to write one and you can see that this is 00 colon 00 colon 10 comma three times zero this is representing the hours minutes and seconds comma milliseconds so the time we have to give in such a format it means you are giving the start time and end time for the displaying this welcome as a subtitle on the video and this is the end time so i have set at the five second and zero zero milliseconds now now we setting the time for the two it is moving to 10th second and 400 millisecond so our welcome text will appear as a subtitle from 5th second to the 10th second and 400 milliseconds and further you want to add the subtitle so next will be you have to specify point 2 and give the time interval the starting point so starting point I have set 10th second and 600 millisecond okay this is the start time and the next one this is representing the arrow for the two zero 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 and twenty eight seconds and eight hundred millisecond so the text will appear from ten tenth second to twentieth seconds okay so I have written this is cool IT help how are you okay let me show you the third uh, text that I want to add that 
I have taken the video that is a length of 30 second so I can adjust one more subtitle at this place so I am taking a, a the start point from 21 second 100 millisecond okay and uh, coming to the two point here I have setting 30th zero zero that means our third subtitle will start from 21 second to 30th second that means the at the end of the video okay so this is the file we have to create before going to run the command so this is the SRT file and this is the syntax how you can write the SRT file so you can see that at the last I will show you that our SRT files is uh, successfully uh, doing its task or not so we will verify at the end okay so once you created the SRT files you can uh, download this uh, as well from the description box I have given the link so once you set up all these things and the video is ready uh, I have placed the video just adjacent to the SRT file so it will be easy you can set the path further but uh, before okay now we'll proceed with setting up the environment variable path this is most useful thing that we have to done okay now we have three path variables and we have to set path as I have shown on the screenshot as I have described in the text okay now let me open the place where we have to set okay now directly go to the computer right click properties and click on advanced system settings okay now we have to come in moment variable and here you can see that let me minimize it okay let me open that environment variable settings so I have already created and let me show you this is the variable name you can create by pressing the new button inside the system variable okay and then you have to give the path such like that dot slash fonts press ok first one is complete and now come to the second this is font config underscore file now do the similar way create a new variable phone config underscore file and set the value phones dot conf okay you can see here this is the font font is a folder and uh, the phone dot conf is a file okay press okay okay now the third one config font config underscore path yeah, click on it font config underscore path that's great and uh, give the value as I have given dot slash fonts press ok so we have done our last points of uh, configuring, configuring the environment variable successfully you can see that the three system variable that I have created and uh, their values is appearing press ok ok now the last point we will run the command to add the subtitle so let me show you the command so this is the final step that we need to run this command ffmpeg minus i this is the usual command that asking for the input file so give the name of the input file that you're going to use either it will be mp4 wmv M mvi and this is subtitles attribute so we have giving the name of the dot srt files that i have created then look at it here this is a blue selected and this is the same file i have given okay it is a simple command n final the name of the output video so I have chosen video with subtitle dot WMB now let me open the command prompt to run this FFmpeg command 
so i am ready with it let me copy it okay so copy this command from this place and go to the prompt just paste it here okay now press enter you can see that the process is going on it will take some time so be patient so have patience okay it's done okay it's successfully and there's no error so let me check that it is uh, okay yeah here is our output file video with subtitle dot wmv is generated successfully that's all <clears throat> okay now let me uh, show you so we will verify that the subtitle is added on place or not so we will verify the first subtitle will appear at the fifth second so let me run this video okay now see here you can see that time count the first subtitle will appear at fifth second and it will uh, uh, appear till 10th second and after the 10th second you can see that this is school it help and it will uh, last up to 20th second now you can see that the after the 20th second we have how are you this is the text and it will last up to the 30th second that means at the end of the video so guys this is the way you can add the subtitle in your videos of your choice you can use uh, whatever you like the language to put for the video you can see that it's coming very smoothly at the center of the video you don't need to pass any other parameter to set it in the center it will be done automatically by the command so that's great it's an awesome command i hope you like this video so please subscribe my channel i will bring more useful videos for you till then bye bye